What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to the 444 Philly Fan Podcast. The Eagles, man, are killing me right now. They really are. I understand we just go on this big, you know, we made the Super Bowl. We were a couple plays away from maybe winning the Super Bowl, a couple mistakes away from winning the Super Bowl. I just don't understand what we're doing right now, though. I don't know if you guys saw, you probably all did at this point. But CJ Gardner Johnson's gone. I mean, he is gone, gone. He's posting things on Instagram. He's posting things on TikTok, on Twitter. He's gone. And that's what happens when you don't use a franchise tag. I don't know why we didn't use the franchise tag. Doesn't really make any sense to me when you have a million free agents right now. But Howie Roseman, what are you doing? I understand. Look, look. We were amazing last year, and Howie Roseman was a big reason for that. He got so, he gets all these guys. He's making all these trades. I thought he was supposed to be good at negotiating contracts, though. So why is C.J. Gardner-Johnson leaving? He's 24 years old. He just led the league in interceptions. He's a hard-hitting safety. He's in a position where we have no backups. I mean, who are we putting back there? Not Epps. You know why? He's gone, too. Look at the free agents that we could have tagged yesterday, and none of them were tagged. Gardner Johnson, Hargrave, Epps, Samalu, Sanders, all these guys, they're gone. Bradbury, Edwards, Kazir White, Fletch, BG might be gone, even though I've been hearing that BG is probably coming back on on a deal. Who knows with what, though. But Fletch is gone. Hargrave's gone. So now you're missing two D linemen. You're missing both your linebackers. You're missing your cornerback, too. You're missing your safeties. What's going to happen? What is going to happen now? Because we don't have as much cap space. Oh, and by the way, Kelsey, it might retire. This team could go down real fast, and I don't like it. Why is it every year, every like the last time we won the Super Bowl, what happened? You lose half your team. This year, you go to the Super Bowl, what happens? You're going, you're not even attempting to bring back anybody at this point. You're just looking to clear house and go, you know, you got a new offensive coordinator, you got a new defensive coordinator. Who knows what's going to happen with Darius Slay because now you, all of a sudden you want to bring in Matt Patricia for some weird reason because I think he sucks. I think Matt Patricia is garbage. I don't know what, and Slay hates him. I mean, it's not like a Slay thing. It, it, Slay hates Matt Patricia. He was his head coach in Detroit. I don't know what we're doing. I don't know what, you know, when we, I did a podcast a few weeks ago, and I was saying, oh, they'll probably bring back Gardner Johnson. They'll bring back Hargrave. They'll bring, bring back Edwards. You know, all these guys I, I thought that we were going to bring back. And you look at it now, and it's like, we might not bring back anybody. It, it might be a completely new defense next year. You know, you're good. I know you have a lot of picks. I get that. But you can't throw out a bunch of rookies, especially when not all of them are going to be first round, second round talent. You can't. Your defensive line right now, as of next year, on the roster currently, is Hassan Reddick, Josh Sweat, Milton Williams and Jordan Davis. That's your D line. It's not a bad D line, but you just led the league in sacks. You had 70 sacks with Hargrave having 10. You had BG, you had Fletch, and now all these guys are up in the air. So, what are we doing? Gardner Johnson just led the league in interceptions. He's a hard hitting safety. He's 24 years old. He's not 30, he's not Malcolm Jenkins' age. He's 24, and we're just letting him walk for no reason. It doesn't add up. I don't. I I understand that he'll probably get a massive contract somewhere, but you could have tagged him. You could have franchise tagged him. You could have franchise tagged Hargrave, and instead, you didn't do that. But either one, and now they're probably going to leave and find new teams and be better, or and and make more money. And. What's going to happen with the Eagles? They're going to get worse. I mean, that's what's going to happen. The defense is going to get way worse. No Bradbury, no Hargrave, no 
no Gardner Johnson, no Epps, no Fletch, no BG. It's going to be a struggle next year, especially I, – look, I'm expecting a lot of moves to be made at this point in time. I mean, I kind of have to. But it's just kind of confusing. The Gardner Johnson one is the most confusing of all of them because all you heard all season long was the Eagles' number one priority other than bang Jalen Hurts is – signing C.J. Gardner-Johnson to a a long-term deal. They're going to tag him if they're not going to make a contract. So what happened from the Super Bowl, the week before the Super Bowl, when we were hearing that C.J. Gardner-Johnson was going to be an eagle, we're going to tag him if he's not going to get into the contract, all this, all that. What happened from then till right now, where now C.J. Gardner-Johnson isn't even going to be on the Eagles anymore? I mean, he's going to be somewhere else, like completely somewhere else. I don't know what the Eagles are doing. It's weird. It's frustrating because for me, I love C.J. Gardner-Johnson, Hargrave, Fletch and BG. I know they're getting up there in age, so I I understand that. But Gardner-Johnson's 24, so I don't understand that one at all. And your biggest – concern last year going into the season was finding a safety. You found a safety. You got him for a bargain. You got, you basically got him for nothing. And now you're just going to let him walk without even tagging him. That doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem something has to be going. Like something has to be changing. Something has to be cooking in Howie Roseman's mind because I'm confused as all of you. And it sucks. It does. Because I really did like C.J. Gardner-Johnson and all the other guys. But Gardner-Johnson was my guy. He was an instant fan favorite for me personally. You know, watching him get interceptions against Dallas and against, you know, Houston and and all the – and, and Minnesota. Like, he, he was – he led the league in interceptions and he missed – five to six games. I don't, I, again, I, I just don't understand it. I don't know what Howie Roseman is doing. It just feels like it's going to, like the only good thing of this is that the offense is still going to be elite. You know, I'm, I'm okay with having Kenneth Gainwell being my running back one. And we have Devontae and we have, AJ and Jalen and the offensive line if Kelsey comes back is still going to be one of, if not the best in football. You have Goddard. I'm not worried about the offense. But the defense last year in the Super Bowl gave up a lot of points. What's going to happen if you lose half of that great, amazing defense? Are you going to find completely new players and fill them in with what money, though? Isn't that the whole reason why we're not signing back Gardner Johnson and Hargrave and Edwards? And again, this might change, but it doesn't look like it's changing with with CJ. He looks like he's gone. And, you know, I'm sure more will come out in the future. I know with the world, you know, of Twitter – Things will come out. I'm sure Gardner Johnson will end up on somebody's podcast at some point and explain why he left the Philadelphia Eagles and what really went in, went down with him not being franchise tagged, with him not being put on a contract, with him, you know, basically out of thin air, just leaving. I guess we'll have to wait and see, but it sucks. It sucks right now. You lose the Super Bowl. You know, it's, it's completely different than what the Phillies did. The Phillies lost the, lost the World Series. What did they do? They brought back – or they didn't bring back anybody. They made major moves. They got Trey Turner. You got Gregory Soto. You upgraded the bullpen. You are now an elite baseball team if you are the Philadelphia Phillies. With the Eagles, though, they're losing guys. And – I know free agency doesn't open up until like next week or Sunday or whenever. 
but it's going to be an interesting one. It's it's going to be really interesting what the Eagles are going to do because I, as of right now, have no idea what this Eagles team is going to do when you have you know twenty plus free agents that you have to re-sign or let walk, and then you got to find their backups. You got to find you know players to replace them with very little money. And Jalen Hurts, by the way, doesn't have a contract. And Daniel Jones just got a hundred and what sixty million dollars for like three or four years. And Derek Carr is getting a hundred million dollars guaranteed in his contract. And you know all these guys are, are just getting major money, and none of them are better than Jalen Hurts. So what's going to happen when Jalen Hurts does get a contract eventually at some point in the near future? What's going to happen? Guess we'll have to wait and see. But with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. I cover the Eagles, Sixers, Phillies, Flyers, and sometimes the Union, depending on, you know, how, you know, much I can watch them. But with that being said, again, thank you all so much for watching, and I'm out. Peace.